god if you're listening like this is where i want to be in heaven just give me endless sushi hi guys welcome back to my channel today i obviously have a sushi mukbang for you guys sorry my hair is already annoying me so much so what do i have today i am solo dolo you know sometimes you just want to be by yourself you know there's nothing wrong with that this is a sweet potato tempura roll there it looks like there's two of them just because i was trying to fit everything in the frame <laughs> This is called a passion roll. I've Instagrammed it before. It is tuna, salmon, and avocado. Look at that big ol' avocado. Yeah. Yum. Spicy salmon, salmon avocado, and yellowtail scallion. Yum. Let's get into it, shall we? I normally, if it's just myself, get three rolls. But for the sake of this video, I figured we'll get a couple more, make it more interesting. Okay, so we're ready to go with our sauces now. I have a big water here. I am so freaking hungry like on the way home my stomach had pains in it I was so hungry like and I was like ready to eat this ignore my hair I'm getting a root smudge in a couple weeks shout out to Ariana if you're watching this my hair girl hair ninja this is our last mukbang mukbang of 2020 so crazy um what should I eat first I'm gonna go with the sweet potato tempura roll everyone always roasts these I love them I set up my ring light too, so we have some lighting. It's really overcast today. I thought the sun would be out. It's not. We have my little tree behind us. So let's get our sweet potato tempura. Ooh, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> In some spicy mayo, my favorite. A little bit of eel sauce. If you watch Kate, the mukbanger on TikTok, that's who I learned this like sauce combo from. And a little bit of soy sauce, just a kiss. Oh my god, that's so good. I don't care what anyone says. I do love sweet potato tempura rolls. Sue me, okay? They're delicious. So what's new with everyone else? Does everyone have their... <laughs> Every time I reach my water, I'm gonna look like that. Does everyone have their resolutions ready to go? I'm gonna take a salmon avocado now. Yum. Does everyone have their resolutions? Know what they want to get out of the next year? That is so fresh. Ooh, <coughs> oh, Chipotle mayo got stuck in my throat. Ah! My eyes are like watering. Also, I noticed on my way home, if my fake eyelash was coming off a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> so back to New Year's resolutions. What are mine? Also, I can hear my family downstairs being kind of loud. I told them I was filming this and to like not be so loud, but you know what? You can't stop people from doing what they want to do. That's life. Um... Yellowtail scallion. These are so underrated. Just a little soy sauce on that puppy. I don't like anything else on these. Mmm. Mmm. It's hard to want to talk and eat this because it's just so good. But wow, yum. My New Year's resolutions for the 90th time. I really want to work on getting my skin like perfect. Um, especially with like the masks wearing this year, like I feel like my skin has just been like so messed up from it. Not good. I'm sure it looks fine now because I have makeup on, but it's not good. Oh, I always try to remember to take from the back, not the front, so it still looks visually appealing for you guys. But nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. Hannah Montana, you can take, you can quote that. Take that to the bank is what I was gonna say. I'm so happy right now. What other resolutions do I have? I feel like I just want to be like just better about health in general. Like my skin. I want my teeth to be white AF. I feel like I'm always striving for really white teeth and they just they never look how I want. So I'm going to try to work on that. Spicy salmon roll. Oh my god, these are like mushy, gushy, ready to be eaten. <laughs> oh my god, I caught it. That was so lucky. I'm a queen for that. Now she's a little mushy, mushy, but she's falling apart. And that drip.
on my napkins. So yeah, I think just overall like health and wellness is what I'm gonna focus on for myself. I don't know. Like I'm starting the whole 30, January 7th, the day after my birthday, because I, I want to drink on my birthday and you can't drink during whole 30, so. And if you stop, you have to start over, so I'm not gonna start the first, do the week and then have to start over. That'd be like pointless to me. So I'm doing that just to like kickstart me. I'm still gonna do WW like after and during, but whole 30 I feel like just like kickstarts my body into like time to be your best self like you get so snatched it's amazing because you can't eat dairy carbs sugar soy like gluten and you can't drink and no like fake sugar either like Splenda and stuff they don't like when people say it's hard because like in the scheme of life like it's not that hard to drink your coffee black and like not have carbs for 30 days like it's not hard it's just going to be a switch up you know another one of these puppies um, so I'm definitely going to start out my year with that. Start out strong. But I feel like those are my only, like, resolutions. I'm just trying to, I just want to be more healthy. And I feel like losing weight kind of comes along with that. So we'll see. I'm not, like, dying to lose a million pounds. Like, yeah, that would be great. But, like, I don't know. I just want to be healthy and, like, feel my best. And, like, just look my best and whatever. Um... But in terms of like business goals for 2021, like I want Beauty the Foodie to like blow it out of the fucking water. Like I'm not even kidding. Like I want to hit 10K. I want to grow my YouTube channel even more. I've had a great year, especially because I only really started like the end of May, like June, like ramping up my online presence. So in that time, I feel like I've accomplished a lot. But you know, what? I want to accomplish way more. Like I want to work with tons more brands, get myself out there. Yeah, so hopefully lots of good stuff to come in 2021. Let's go with another one of these spicy guys. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, like fall everywhere. Look at that bulge. Oh my God, yum, are you kidding me? Is it focusing? Yeah, it is. Oh my God, that spicy salmon though. Um, oh my God, she's saucy. Honestly, I can't tell mid video when there's something on my face and then i'm always going back and editing and being like ew like couldn't you have like wiped that <laughs> but that's the fun of this right what is everyone doing for new year's i'm not doing anything i'm just gonna oh look at this big boy oh my god passion roll baby oh my god let's just take a moment for this Trip. Mm. That one is so good. Because it's a perfect texture. You have salmon, tuna, and avocado to make it like smooth. Mm. Love it. Yeah, but what are you guys doing for New Year's Eve? My plans are simple. I'm going to stay home. Put on a pajama set, feel really bougie, drink some champagne, watch the ball drop. And those are my plans and I don't see anything wrong with that or anything I needs to be added. I love these. You know, because I don't know anyone having a party. And if I did, I wouldn't go. Um, just cause I'm not comfortable with that. And I know my family wouldn't be comfortable with that, so. Because I know people are, like, doing that and, like, do what you want, but, like, just, you know, be careful. I'm not here to tell anyone what to do. I'm no COVID cop, you know, live your life. But, you know, don't be dumb. Mm. The texture of that salmon is, like, butter. It's so good. I hope you guys like these videos. These are the ones that do best on my channel and I enjoy making them. So these are the only videos you guys want to see. I know people like the vlogs, but these just do so much better. Like way more people see these than the vlogs I know. But I can't blame you because these are my favorite types of videos to watch too. These and like vlogs. So I got it. 
Do we like the tie-dye shirt or am I like a weirdo? It's one of those purchases you're just at Target browsing and you're like, oh, tie-dye shirt, like, <laughs> love. And you go home and you're like, was this, was this like a purchase? Don't know. Okay, I'm loving these spicy salmon ones, but they are just so like falling apart vibes, you know? Saucy. Wow. I think this is heaven. I really do. Like, God, if you're listening, like, this is where I want to be in heaven. Just give me endless sushi. I feel like a big thing for me is I used to say, like, oh, like, maybe this will be the year, like, I find a guy that I can tolerate for more than a week or you know like I don't think I'm that picky like I think I have fun with people when I meet them and then after a while like, you get to know someone you're like you're not for me at all so <laughs> hopefully this year no I don't care that's what I was saying the other day I was like with these like new year's resolutions and i'm i just want to be like happy doing whatever i'm doing like i don't need someone i've never been that way ever <laughs> like i like being alone like, it's more my downfall than anything because like i wish i almost did care more to be like i don't know everyone i know has a boyfriend at this point or like is married or engaged and i'm like yeah i don't know i don't care I'm just not going to force anything like I've never been that way just to like get to that stage, you know? So that's my story. I don't care. Oh, fuck. I just dropped this whole thing in the sauce. Oh, shit. Let's drag it on the others. <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> All right, well. Big bite, big bite. Oh. Good bite. I feel like I got off on a tangent there, but <laughs> I'm not gonna base like how I feel off of like finding someone, you know? Because there's tons of people out there, and I guess I'm picky, I don't know. I think I'm just turned off easily, you know? At least that's what some of my friends think. <laughs> or some of them say, I sabotage good things. I think that's true. Because if it was so good, wouldn't I know and also feel that? <laughs> I just think the standards nowadays are so low. not to get like gross but like the standards are literally like if a guy doesn't try to hook up with you on a first date like then he's nice like if he texts you the next day then like oh my god like he's you're kidding me those are like normal basic things that every man should be doing like I, I'm not gonna fall all over someone because he picked me up for the date or like he texts me the next day like those are things you should absolutely be doing so like I'm not gonna so stupid, I can't even. I don't think I'm the problem. <laughs> oh my god, focus on that baby girl. Oh god, this is gonna be so good. Mm. Fire. I didn't think I'd be able to finish all this, but like now I think I can. I woke up starving today though, and I didn't eat until now. Just because this morning I was trying to get up. A different video and it took me so long my computer was just like not cooperating with me I need to remind myself to send an email after this because I need to answer someone I really wish sometimes like I could treat this as like my diary and be more honest and then you guys could like write me advice in the comments. Or 
just to entertain you guys because I have had such a weird week like personal life wise like people are just so bizarre man and like oh my god if I do this one more time oh, what am I gonna learn when am I going to learn oh god damn it okay shoot well <laughs> there goes all that sauce wipe it on some others <laughs> I had too much of that sauce on it so good <laughs> but yeah people are just weird have no boundaries and I don't know I'm having such a strange last week of 2020 which why would it be normal this year has been garbage <laughs> This spice is going in my throat. <laughs> wow, I'm eating a lot. You look good for me. I'm listening to my body and it says, eat up, girly girl. Eat up. These are so good. I just wish they were like staying together more. A light dip so I don't drop. Mmm. This is so good. <sighs> Okay, let's eat one of these big boys again. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Such a good bite. My nose is so itchy. But I have makeup on. <laughs> so I'm trying not to like... God, if you're listening, like, this is where I want to be in heaven. Just give me endless sushi. I dyed my eyebrows yesterday. I don't know if you guys can really tell though because then I filled them in a little bit. But I barely had to fill them in now that they're like dyed. God, if you're listening, like this is where I want to be in heaven. Just give me endless sushi. I just got really full. Also, like I really hope you guys can't hear my family downstairs. Like if you can, I'm actually sorry. Like they're so loud. Okay, let's try to bring... Oh my god, the, these rolls are just too big. I hate touching sushi with my hands, but... Almost dropped her. That's good stuff. I hate watching it back and seeing myself like lick my fingers. <laughs> it's so disgusting. But in the moment, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's on period. Okay, three little pieces left. Spicy, not spicy, regular seven avocado. The best. Wow, my family is so loud. I'm honestly so sorry if you hear them. There's just nothing like sushi. Nothing like it. When you have a sushi craving, like nothing's gonna solve it except for this. Let's go in for everyone's least favorite, but one of my favorites. <laughs> And it's not like I'm a baby who doesn't like raw fish, so I get a sweet potato tempura roll. No, I love it. I love the crunch. Mmm. It's so fire. Last roll left. Or piece. You know how I title these sushi mukbang? Someone commented on my last one, like, those are rolls, not sushi. Let's just put this out there. I am well aware that sushi is a piece of fish on rice. I'm aware. But who the hell is going to click on roll mukbang? I wouldn't even know what that is. So it's sushi mukbang. Okay. Thank you. Let's cheers to 2021 not being worse than this year. It's not hard. They, they, they're not gonna have to be the best year. It's just gonna be a little bit better than this one. So let's let's get a dramatic dunk. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. That was the best bite. <laughs> wow, 
why is the last thing you eat always the best bite? Why is that? <laughs> and I was always trying to get the worst bite of the food so I wouldn't be like, dang, it's over. And save the worst bite for last. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You've made this year so much better for me. Um, I love all my foodies that follow and support me. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more mukbangs or vlogs or what your preference is going into 2021. I hope this next year is the best for everyone compared to the one we just had. During my outro, my camera died. That is, that is how 2020 is going for me. But I just want to say I can't wait for 2021 and everything that's to come and yeah i hope you guys are excited too um i love you all so much don't forget to follow me at beauty the foodie and yeah bye guys i just want to like uh, uh. <laughs>